Hi guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today we're going to be making a delicious lemon pie from a really fun game that I have been playing called Heyday. Heyday is a super cute farming simulation game that I've been a fan of for a couple years now. A big thank you to Heyday for sponsoring this video. The lemon pie recipe that we're making today, along with a bunch of other recipes from the game, are going to be released in a digital cookbook which comes out on Heyday's birthday, June 20th. 21st. We're both June babies. I love it. I'll put a link down below where you can get the cookbook and also download Heyday if you're interested. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Now you may be wondering what I have in front of me here. When you unlock the lemon pie recipe in the game, these are the ingredients that it takes to make it. You'll need lemon curd, two bunches of wheat, and one egg. But to make the pie in real life, we're gonna need a few more ingredients than that. First step to making our pie is making our pie dough. So in front of me, I've got a stand mixer with a chilled bowl. Keeping the bowl chilled, you can just pop this in the refrigerator or freezer. It's gonna help our dough be more flaky and less tough. The recipe is super simple. We're just gonna add flour, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. I'll also be posting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below. So if you wanna make this one at home, you can. Then some butter. We've got it cubed and it's really cold. This is from the refrigerator. It's not room temperature. Put this down, lock it. I'm gonna mix this together on a medium speed until our dough starts to come together and look like coarse sand. This is looking good. Let me show you what it looks like. So if you're making this at home, you can kind of see the texture that you're going for. This is it. This is what we want. We want it to be just like sand. I'm gonna lock this back in place, put it on a low speed, and while it's mixing on a low speed, I'm gonna add roughly three tablespoons of ice water. So you can see in the little bowl, I have some very cold water with ice cubes in there. I'm not gonna be adding the ice cube, but I am gonna be adding the ice water. And pro tip, this amount of water may vary depending where you live, what, what climate you live in. If you live in a really humid place, you may end up using a little less water to get your dough where you need to get it. And if you live in a very dry climate like I do in California, it's a desert, it's very dry here, I might be adding a little bit more water than you would. Just feel it out, but roughly it is three tablespoons of iced water. All right, let's get this going. Here we go. This is perfect. I actually ended up using about four or five tablespoons of water. It's a dry day out, I guess, but your dough will look a little chunky, but when you pinch it, when you put your hands in it, you'll feel that moisture. It feels really good. Now that our dough is looking good, it's ready. Just with your hands, squeeze it together to make a little ball. Just place it on top of a piece of food safe plastic wrap. Then using your hands, you're gonna shape the dough into a disc. So you're just gonna flatten it like so, then wrap it up tight, top, bottom, side, and side. Pop it in the refrigerator to chill for about 30 minutes. Once your dough gets a chance to chill, it is time to roll it out. Now we're gonna be rolling it out on the counter in front of us. So sprinkle some flour on the work surface in front of you. Do, 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 do. For this step, the most important thing is you don't want your dough to stick to the counter. Cause we're gonna pick it up and place it in this cute little pie pan over here. Now we're gonna unwrap, here we go. This is what I call baking flare. You undo the ends. And I used to watch bartenders and they would do like bar flare. So this is my baking flare. You hold an end and you just pull as quick as you can See what happens. <laughs> Boom! Oh, geez, the microphone. <laughs> I'm also gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on top of the dough so it won't stick, and a little bit onto my rolling pin. Now you're gonna roll out your dough. You want 14 inches in diameter. It's a pretty big circle, and we're gonna be rolling this dough pretty thin. So just take breaks to make sure it's not sticking on the underside. We've rolled out our dough. It's about 14 inches. I just use a little measure tape to check when I'm baking. Perfect. Then again, you can just use your hands. I like to go underneath. Doot, doot, doot. You can also use your rolling pin, but I'm just gonna do this and place it on top of the pan. I'm gonna try to center it like so. You can wiggle it around. Once you've got your dough in the pan, you wanna make sure that the dough is hitting all edges of the pan. It usually has space right here on the sides. So I lift the dough, press it down. You don't wanna tear the dough, be really careful here, but you wanna make sure that it is touching not only the bottom, 
but the sides. We're gonna go around and fold the edges. I've started it right here. All this excess dough, if it's too much, you can use a little scissor and cut it, but I like to fold it. We're gonna get a great pie edge here. I don't know about you guys, but I have a few people in this house that love pie crust. After you've folded the pie crust all the way around, we're gonna give it a really cool zigzag design using our fingers to look like the pie from the game. This design. Now, if you don't have long fingernails, you can use these two, your pointer and thumb, and do a little pinch, and it will make a zigzag motion. If you've got long nails like I do right now, I use a different part of my hand. I kind of use the sides of my knuckles. Look at how fun this edge looks. All ziggy zaggy, and now it is time to dock the dough. If you've never docked dough before, it's very easy. You just use a fork, and you're gonna poke holes on the bottom of the pie crust. This is so while it's baking, heat can escape, you won't get any bubbles in your pie dough. So you just boop, 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 boop. You just stab the bottom of the dough. I also do this when I'm doing pizza doughs. For this pie, I'm docking the bottom and the sides. Now we're gonna pop this dough in the freezer for 30 minutes to set so that we don't mess up those cute little holes in the design that we've just made before we bake. Just pop the pie dough out of the freezer and now it is time to bake. To keep the shape of the dough, you bake this pie dough with with beans. This is so much fun. It's one of my favorite things when I'm baking pies. You can use any dry bean that you've got in the kitchen. You can even use rice. It just has to be dry rice or dry beans. These are pinto beans that I'm using. Those are my favorite. And a piece of aluminum foil. It's actually two pieces of aluminum foil, but what I'm gonna do is spray the bottom with some baking spray. Then you're gonna place it in the middle and pour in your beans. And again, we put the beans or something weighted in the middle so that the pie will hold it shape while it bakes. So the baking instructions for this pie dough are a little bit different because you will remove your beans part of the way through. So heat your ovens to 375 and you're gonna bake this whole thing together for 25 minutes and after 25 minutes you're gonna remove your beans and the foil. Just pick it up at the corners. That's why you've got these extra bits here. But be careful, it'll be hot. You wanna use your gloves. You'll remove this and then bake the pie dough for an additional 15 minutes. Look at that, our pie dough crust has completely baked and now we're ready to fill it. So I'm gonna set this off to the side and I've let it cool, I am not touching it, super hot. Now we're gonna make our lemon pie filling. Now we're not making lemon curd, it's similar but not, we're making a lemon pie cream filling. It's gonna be delicious. Now in a big sauce pot right here, we are gonna assemble most of it before we head over to the heat on the stove. So in a medium sized sauce pot, you're gonna add sugar, cornstarch, then whisk together till well combined. Then you're gonna add milk and heavy cream, lemon juice, a little bit of vanilla extract, salt, and this is totally optional, but three drops of yellow food coloring. Your pie filling will still be yellow without the food coloring. We're just trying to kick it up a notch so that it looks and matches the exact same look and aesthetic from the game. Then using your whisk, whisk together once again till well combined. Okay, this is looking good. Now we're gonna take our egg yolks, butter, and this pot over to the stove. Temper the egg yolks by adding a small amount of the hot filling to the eggs while whisking constantly. Then slowly pour the egg mixture back into the saucepan while whisking constantly. Then cook the filling for two more minutes. Remove saucepan from heat and then add in the butter and whisk until smooth. Then remove from the heat and pour directly into your pie crust. Ooh, this is amazing. Look at that. You also wanna keep a spatula nearby to scrape down the sides. Get all that yummy filling in there. Just gonna give it a little shake. And we're gonna pop it in the fridge to chill for one hour. While our pie is in the fridge chilling, we're gonna make some homemade whipped cream. If you've never made whipped cream at home before, like you've just bought it in the refrigerated section of the grocery store in the can, I've done that many times. But if you've never done this before, it's super easy. You guys, two ingredients, just some heavy cream and powdered sugar. We got a spatula in case we need it to scrape down the sides. Then take your electric hand mixer, mix together at medium high speed. There we go. Just keep mixing again till stiff peaks form. Usually takes a couple minutes. Woo, all right, that's looking good. Once the whipped cream is ready, I'm gonna scoop it into a piping bag just to make decorating the pie a little bit easier. So in front of me, I've got a piping bag with a big metal 
little circle tip. The tip that I'm using is a 2A, and I'm just gonna place it into a cup. This makes it easier to scoop in the whipped cream. Now just take a little spatula, I'm just gonna scoop it in there. I'm gonna fill up the whole piping bag. And a little bit for me. All right, and now we're ready to decorate. Just took the pie out of the fridge, now it's time to decorate. I placed it on top of a turntable just to make things a little bit easier. You don't need to do this, but it definitely makes things easier. So take your whipped cream that we've got in a piping bag with a number 2A tip at the end, and we're gonna pipe little balls. It's a ball design all the way around the edge. So to do this, I like to put a little pressure off to the side. We're gonna make a circle shape and then release. And you're just gonna keep doing this right next to each other all the way around. Now for the final decoration step. We're gonna make five swirls in the center of our pie. To make things a little bit easier, I'm gonna mark them just using a little bit of icing. I'm gonna think here's the middle, boop. So I need one here, boop, here, boop, here, boop, and here, boop. All right, then you just swirl and ta-da! There you have it, delicious homemade heyday lemon pie. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, enjoyed the video. I'll be posting a bunch of pictures and the recipe all over social medias. And if any of you recreate and make this pie, don't forget to take a picture. And when you upload it, use the hashtag nerdy nummy so that I can find it and heart it and like it and favorite it because I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. Also again, a big thank you to Heyday for sponsoring this video. I am a big fan of their game. I've been playing it for a few years now and I really hope you guys enjoy it as well. And if you'd like to go check out Hey Day, I'll put a link down below where you can download it. Also, if you enjoy watching baking videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And now it's time to have a slice of this pie. It smells so good. I love fresh lemon pies. Ooh, I get a slice now. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, the crust. Mm. Oh my gosh. It tastes light and refreshing, and it has that tartness, like a lemon, but it's also a little creamy. It's worth getting to level 67 to experience this pie. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.